Hey guys, it's Tihi Haha coming at you here uh, with another helpful tutorial video. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to import items from the Phoenix server into Loki 1.4. Um, what you will need for this is you'll need a working copy of Loki 1.4 as well as a registration key. Um, and you'll also need a text editor that supports reg expressions. Um, the version, the program that I use is called Notepad++. I'll put a, down, a link to it in the uh, description below. It is free. Um, I typically use Notepad itself, but it won't search regular expressions. Therefore, you can't do this little trick with it. So I recommend Notepad++. But you may already have something installed on your computer that you use that does the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first off, you need a copy of Loki 1.4, which I have open on the screen here, and you need to have it registered. If you don't and you try to import export, you're gonna get this message right here. This feature is only available for gold edition registered users of Loki. For more information on registering your copy of Loki, see the help about information. So we can't pull anything in unless we have a registered copy. To register your copy, you're going to go to help about and then click the register and it's going to prompt you for your information. Like I said, you can't buy this program anymore. So unfortunately, you'll have to find someone that has it, uh, maybe a friend, maybe Google, uh, who knows. What you're going to do is you're going to put your information in there. And I'm going to pull mine off screen real quick to register it. All right. Um, Gold edition is registered. Thank you. Then we're going to click OK. So now when we click File Import, it'll pop up and let us browse to the location. So it is in fact working now. So step one, what we're gonna do, we're going to go to, we're gonna click your start menu and then go to documents. And we're gonna scroll down until we find electronic arts, dark age of Camelot. We're gonna find chat.log. Yours may just say chat, depending if you have uh, file extensions turned on in your operating system. If not, it's just gonna say chat. What you want to do is delete that because you don't want any of the previous information that you may have chat logged. So once we do that, we're going to tab back in the game. For the purposes of this tutorial, I am on my infiltrator who has a template and it is actually weaponless. So what we're going to do is we're going to type chat log. And all of the inf all the items that we want to pull in to use in the template, uh, which would be rocks and maybe the city chest, um, we're going to click on them and then we're going to click info or you can click on it and use your hotkey. Uh, the default is shift plus the I key, which I've rebind mine for uh, to make it a little bit quicker. So we clicked on the chest. We delved the chest. Now I delved the necklace, the gem, the ring, the left wrist, right wrist, right ring, belt and cloak. Uh, if your template's going to use weapons, you would click on these and import them as well. Uh, mine doesn't, so I'm not. Um, if you use any dropped armor pieces, you can click those in info as well, and it'll pull it in. So once you've delved all the items that you're wanting to use in your template, you will type slash chat log uh, again to turn it off. And I'm going to delve this Heart of Legion in my bag just to show you guys something, but I don't use it in the template. But I just want to do it for the purpose of showing you something in this video. So we've delved all of our items. Now we're going to type slash chat log. It should say disabled. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that folder that we were just at where the chat log file that we deleted. We're going to right click on this and we're going to do edit with notepad. Here you would open it with whatever your text editor is that it supports reg expressions. Uh, like I said, I use notepad plus plus. So I'm editing with notepad plus plus. And what you're going to do, step one, you're going to click search, find, and the first item we want to find is the plus sign. In the original Dayok, whenever you delve an item, it doesn't have plus signs in front of the stats. And that's one of the problems when you try to import it in default. It either the item stats will be all zeros or either it'll crash your program. So step one is to remove all the plus signs. So to quickly do that, we do search, find, and then we click the replace tab. We type plus. It down here we want to make sure it says normal so we're going to check normal and we're going to click find next just to make sure it highlights a plus sign so it is searching for the correct thing we're going to click replace all and all 63 occurrences were replaced so all the plus signs in this document are now gone step two in the original day -oc, it didn't have the utility of each stat so essentially we need this information from each line removed so in order to do that, 
we will go to search mode, regular expression, and you're going to type this sequence. You're going to type backslash bracket period star backslash and then the pipe character. So again, that's uh, backslash bracket period star backslash and then the pipe character. And we're going to do replace with and we're going to replace it with a bracket. So we click find next. As you can see, it highlights this information right here, which is exactly what we want removed. So it's going to basically remove this and then add that bracket back. So I'm just going to click replace on one so you can see what it does. As you can see, it basically just took that information away. So it does exactly what we want because we want the line to say the timestamp, the stat, and then the value, none of the other information. So we're just going to go ahead and click replace all. And as you can see, it changed all those lines down through there. So we can exit out of that and click save. We will now go back to Loki and we will do file, import, chat log. And then you will, if it pulls up a random folder, you'll click libraries, documents, electronic arts, dark age of Camelot, chat.log, it may say chat. Um, you click open, you'll get this window. So this shows us all the items that we delved into the chat log. So we're going to go through one at a time and tell it the location and then click equip. For the most part, it is going to pull the location automatically, so you won't have to change it. Uh, however, for new items like Heart of Legion, it doesn't know what this item is. So you would actually have to click it and click Jewel and then click Equip, which that's the reason I imported the Heart of Legion because I wanted to show you that. Uh, like I said, it'll say Unknown and you'll have to set it as a Jewel and then click Equip. So, all right. We're going to start with our chest. It's a chest piece. So we make sure equip the cloak. It says cloak, equip, belt, location, belt, equip, ring. Now with rings and bracer, it gets a little bit tricky. Uh, this is our first bracer, so we want to make sure it says left ring. Uh, this is our first ring, so we want to make sure it says left ring, equip. Now we want to find our second ring and change it to right ring and then click equip. Otherwise, you're going to overwrite your first ring with your second ring when you import it. So our first bracer, left wrist, equip. Second bracer, right wrist, equip. And then gem, jewel, necklace. And then we click OK. And now it should have all those items. So we have the Royal Assassin's Vest. And then we click Jewelry, Ancient Copla Necklace, Matter Supreme Cloak. All of our items are pulled in. Our weapons are blank because we didn't pull any weapons in. And all of our armor pieces are blank. So... We're going to go ahead and we're going to use MP armor for this, so we're going to set all these armor pieces to 99, or I mean, we're going to use MP armor, so we're going to set them all to MP, 100 quality. So, we did that. Now then, over here on the left hand side, we're going to set the stats that we want. So we want strength to be 75, which it's already overcapped, so we don't have to worry, but we're going to put it in there anyway. 75 con, 75 dex, 75 quickness. And then we don't need any of these other stats, so we're going down to hits, 200 hits, and then we're going to set our resist, 26 body, 26 gold, 26 heat, 26 energy, 26 matter. And you'll just type in how much you want it. If you don't want it to be max, you can type in whatever value you want, uh, but the cap is 26, so that's why I'm putting 26. And you want to set the priority to high thrust 26 and then the stats the skills that you want so we want 11 in venom we want 11 stealth 11 cs and my impulse thrust so i want 11 thrust and 11 dual wield so what we're going to do now is oracle parameters we're just going to take this drag it to the far right um and we're going to click consult and we're going to let it sit here for a minute uh, after a couple of minutes, it may, depending on your computer, it may do it really quickly, but it will pop up and tell you the utility of your template, and it'll keep thinking about how to make your template better with these pieces being spellcrafted. So we're going to let it pop up with our utility, which should take just a second. It's almost there already. And the longer you let, here, let this sit here and think, the better the stats will end up. It does eventually cap out, so keep that in mind if you're letting it sit here for like a really long time. It may not be worth it. 
Um, so it says the utility currently is 1,005. So it's thinking about ways right now to spellcraft all these pieces to basically match these stats that we set. So like I said, after you've waited long enough or you think it's good, you can go ahead and hit disturb. Or you, like I said, you can go eat, come back, let it completely finish. Uh, but like I said, after a while it does like meet you, reach like the point where it can't do any better. So we're going to go ahead and hit disturb. And as you can see, it just capped out all my stats. I've got 76 strength, 80 dex, 75 quickness, 200 hits, 11 in venom, 11 stealth, 11 critical strike, 11 thrust, 11 dual wield, and all my resists are 26. So we're going to go to armor, and we're going to look at the way it spellcrafted it. So here is where it tells you your stats that you're going to be crafted. So it did this piece with 13 slash, 25 quick, 2 heat, 5 energy. It did the helm with 19 dex, 2 stealth, 5 thrust, 25 quickness. So it basically spellcrafted all these pieces to fill in your mixing stats. Now, you have to take into consideration this doesn't always work that way. Uh, it's just because this is a pre-made template that I knew these pieces would cap all of this out. Um, however, if you're building a template, you hit consult, it's going to come back and some of these stats may not be capped. Like your quickness may be 70 of 75. What you'll have to do then is look at your ROGs and look at your like resists to see like, okay, technically my strength is way over capped and my dex is way over capped. So I would want to find an item that has strength or dex and remove it and find a new one to put in to be able to reach those caps. It's not going to be able to just instantly, you know, no matter what ROGs you put in your cap it out, you know, it's you're going to have to help it somewhat. Uh, but once you get there, it will pick the best spell crafting. Uh, and that'll do it uh, for you. What you'll do is then you'll click craft report and you will click save file and this is what you'll send to your spell crafter. You'll basically click save file, save it to your desktop, name it, and then send that to your crafter. Or once you do this you can take these stats and put it into Zencraft and send your crafter the Zencraft file. Uh, me as a spell crafter I prefer a Zencraft file because you can build the hotbars uh, but however, when I'm making my template, I always use Loki and let it auto consult these and then I put it into Zencraft afterwards. Um, if you got any questions, you can comment on the video or you can message me on Discord. It is T-E-E-H-E-H-E, -E -E -E, hashtag 9239 on Discord. Um, or you can comment on the video below. Appreciate you watching. Also catch me on Twitch, Twitch TV, T-E-E-H-E-H-A-H-A. -E -H -A -H -A. So it's twitch.tv, T-E-H-E-H-A. -H -A. Thank you and have a good day.